Hey guys, welcome back to another Regular Dude Fishing video. I am the Regular Dude John. Hope all is well. I am down here on the uh, Ohio River. It has been way too long since I've got a hook wet. I can't stand it anymore. We are still dealing with uh, very high water, um, but uh, we are going to fish anyway. I'm out here with my buddy Andrew. <laughs> Me and reading him from previous videos. The river is a sloppy, slimy, muddy mess. The water conditions are changing like constantly all the time, but uh, we can't stand it. We're gonna see if we can't find something that'll make our pole bend and uh, hope we'll get lucky. So let's get to fishing. All right, I am using a 16th ounce jig head with a yellow swirl tail grub. I am using my trusty Cadence CC6 combo. This is a fast action rod. Um, a lot of dudes don't like the real stiff rods, but uh, we're fishing in an area that's really just covered with rocks and it's real snaggy. And this fast action rod, even though I'm running mono, this Cadence fast action rod, I can feel all the little rocks and the bumps on the bottom. And it just helps me from getting snagged up so much. So that is the reason why I really like the, the stiffer fast action rods. So we're just gonna work it in real slow. See if we can't get lucky. There's something. Oh, it's a little sauger. He's a pretty little guy. But it's a fish. I got my skunk off. <laughs> it's about time. He's kind of a small one, I think. I'm going to put him back in. Going back in there, little dude. And he's off. All right, well, let's see if we can find something a little bigger. Now, look here. I finally caught a keeper. That's an eating size sauger. Nice and skinny. Get the camera out of the way here. All right, it's been really slow bite and there's a lot of rocks we've been getting snagged up a lot, but looks like we finally got one that we can maybe make a sandwich out of. We'll put them on a stringer so we can catch a few more. Well, here's fish number three. It doesn't feel very big, but it might make a sandwich. There we go. It'll do. Another Ohio River Sauger. That's what we're after. They're not monsters. But if we're looking for some supper, that'll help. So let's put him in the bucket here and uh, see if we can get some more. The bite is real slow. This is fish number three. I think we've been fishing for, I don't know, right at four hours, somewhere in there. So. Hopefully it'll pick up pretty soon. If not, then we'll turn these guys loose again and see if we can't uh, get some maybe in another day. You're gonna be doing a lot of this retying if you're fishing down here amongst all these rocks. All this, the whole riverbank, that area that we're fishing looks like this part right up in here, all the way down. That's what it looks like. And we're trying to drag these jigs through there to uh, see what's in the rocks. So if you do plan on fishing down here in a real heavy rock cover, make sure you bring plenty of jig heads because you're going to be doing lots of retying. Like I said, I just use basic, simple little improved clinch knot, 16th ounce jig head with a wire hook. Sometimes we get lucky and we can bend our hook. If we get snagged up into rocks, we can bend it out and get it free and then rebend it back. But uh, a lot of times the jig head gets stuck in between two rocks, just like that. And we end up got to break it off and retie, but that's part of the game. Well, this one don't feel very big, but he may be big enough for a sandwich. All right, yeah, he's a keeper. Real slow, but he's definitely a keeper. Yeah, he's got that one plunged down his throat. I have to get my pliers out for him. Open your mouth here, buddy. You got to be careful when you're handling them too. They got them gill plates and all them teeth. 
I had to get my pliers out to get this guy off. But, another one for the bucket. And yep, there's another one. It's just a light little tap thump. There we go. You saw her real subtle when they hit. Just a light little thump. And that's what we live for. We live for the thump. Another good eater size. Pretty Ohio River sauger. Well, that makes number five for us. That ought to make a decent supper, I think. That looks like my old buddy Terry found. What'd you find there at the end of the bottom of the river there? A little one. Ah, he's an eater. Yeah. We'll throw him in the bucket. Yeah. Everybody knows Terry. Terry's catching him. But thank you, Terry. Well, guys, it was a pretty good day. I got to hang out with my buddy Andrew. Got to hang out with my buddy Terry. Got to catch a few fish. Got me some riverbank time. Gotta love it. Even though the bite was real slow, uh, the river's way up and everything's covered in mud, it was still fun to get out here on the river and hang out for a while. So, uh, I guess going to be it for this video. So, uh, we'll try to get more next time. So, until the next time, have a great day. We'll catch you in the next video. Fishing!